Hi, welcome to the Just Jesus Conclusion. The Just Jesus Conclusion. It's been a long uh, study, it's been a long ride as it were, but I hope it's been a great encouragement to you. I, I hope that it's really put things, set things right, put things right in your mind concerning your relationship with the Lord and, and, and who you truly are in Christ Jesus. I just want to encourage you as well to say, one, well done. Well done for getting this far. Well done for kind of pushing through and grappling with the studies and, and, and completing these studies. I, I bless you and I encourage you to keep on learning, to keep on reflecting on what you've learned. You know, these are on video and uh, on the YouTube and on Facebook, of course, and, and all the media outlets. And you can continue to go over these things. Don't just let it be a study where you just have done it once and that's it. Because these are the things we need to keep reminding ourselves of, which I'll explain a little bit more in a minute. But well done, and the Lord bless you. And thank you for listening to me as well and, and, um, and, and grappling with these studies praise the lord and if you've been really encouraged before i continue with this conclusion i just want to say if you've really been encouraged or you've got testimonies please don't forget to especially now now you've come to the end make some comments either on the facebook or the youtube or both you know make some comments of how the lord has ministered to you make some comments of how the, the lord has touched your life through this just Jesus course and how it's affected you as a person, as a Christian and, and maybe make some comments and don't forget to give some thumbs up, some likes. It really helps in pushing the message of just Jesus out there in the media world. So please don't forget to comment and like these videos and, and, and maybe you can leave a testimony a short testimony in the comment section and uh, please do that praise the lord amen it would be great for you to do that amen so let's continue with this conclusion today i'm not going to keep you long but just let's continue the introduction this conclusion aims to cause you to remember to see believe and walk in all that christ has accomplished for you in his finished work. And so we need to remember what the Lord has taught us, don't we? Remember Paul, he talked to Timothy and he says, I put you in remembrance. You've known my faith, you've known my doctrine, my teaching. He knew Timothy had listened to Paul preach and teach the gospel and everything that Christ had done. And he says, I put you in remembrance of these things. Sometimes we forget. Sometimes we forget to remember what Christ has done. And we have to reflect and keep going over these things. The, the things I've taught you in just Jesus is now a way of life for me. It's a way of belief for me. It's a way of seeing. It's a way of walking for me. Am I perfect? No. Far from it. But this is my foundation. And I live and breathe these things. Just ask my wife. You know, because I, I, I talk these things so much. I reflect, I meditate, I believe, I see, and I walk, hallelujah, in these things, hallelujah, because it's truly Christ in you, hallelujah, and you in Christ. It's the very foundation to our Christian life, praise the Lord. And so in this introduction, I really want us to cause us to remember, believe, walk, and see all that Christ has done in his finished work. As I said many times in this study, it's a finished work. And Christians are the only ones who start from the finish line. It's a finished work. We start in our life of walking in Christ, our race as it were in the believer's life starts from the finished line. The way church and preachers and, uh, uh, and, and teachers kind of 
teach the things of the Lord sometimes is that we're on this race or we're on this walk or journey and we start at the start line which is salvation we believed on Jesus we're born again and then we begin to tr tread a trail of uh, becoming more like Jesus in the sense of becoming more righteous more holy more this more that and the other but I hope in this just Jesus course you've understood something that we start from the finish line. Christ has done all these things to us, for us, and in us, and we start at that point. That's our very foundation. If you're gonna build a building, you build from a foundation. And all these things I've taught you over the 45 lessons are actually the foundation, that actually the start point that's been put in place through Jesus Christ and just him, hallelujah, by his grace when you believed upon him. So that's your start point. That's your foundation point. Now we begin to build our Christian life and walk in every area of life by reflecting the foundation Jesus, by applying the foundation Jesus. Praise God. Amen. Isn't that wonderful what Christ has done for us? So now let's just recap for a moment. The 45 things you've learned so far. Hallelujah. Just Jesus Foundations has taught you that you're in Christ and with Christ. He is your new creation identity. And that's the key thing, folks. You're a new creation then. Not an old creation. Not half and half. You're a completely new creation. And so the lesson one started with a new creation in Christ. Lesson two, justified and righteous in Christ. Lesson three, redeemed in Christ. Lesson four, sanctified in Christ. Lesson five, reconciled in Christ. Lesson six, propitiation in Christ. Lesson seven, forgiven in Christ. Lesson eight, glorified in Christ. Lesson nine, delivered in Christ. Lesson 10, circumcised in Christ. Lesson 11, accepted in Christ. Lesson 12, first fruits in Christ. Lesson 13, in God's eternal purpose in Christ. Lesson 14, founded in Christ. Lesson 15, made near to God in Christ. Lesson 16, priest to God in Christ. Lesson 17, in God's kingdom in Christ. Lesson 18, chosen in Christ. Lesson 19, holy nation in Christ. Lesson 20, peculiar people in Christ. Lesson 21, and remember this, no condemnation in Christ. Lesson 22, adopted in Christ. Lesson 23, hallelujah, children of God in Christ. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Lesson 24, in God's family in Christ. Lesson 25, Fellowship in Christ. Lesson 26, light in Christ. Lesson 27, hidden in Christ. Lesson 28, complete in Christ. <coughs> Lesson 29, spiritual blessings in Christ. Lesson 30, a gift from the Father in Christ. Oh, that's wonderful. Lesson 31, Messiah's inheritance in Christ. Lesson 32, simplicity in Christ. Lesson 33, free from the law in Christ. Lesson 34, old man judged in Christ. Lesson 35, united with the Trinity in Christ. Lesson 36, access to the Father in Christ. Lesson 37, in the shepherd's care in Christ. Lesson 38, crucified with Christ 
Lesson 39, buried with Christ. Lesson 40, quickened with Christ. Lesson 41, raised and alive with Christ. Lesson 42, seated with Christ. Lesson 43, joint heirs with Christ. Lesson 44, appear with Christ. And lesson 45, reign with Christ. Hallelujah. 45 truths that we have now as a believer. Hallelujah. Praise God. He's guaranteed because the Spirit dwells in us and Christ dwells in us. Praise the Lord. Isn't that wonderful? What Christ has done to our past, to our present, and to our future. Praise the Lord. We are in him. He is in us. And if you remember, the last number of lessons was with Christ. And I said that was the Holy Spirit selfie. And if ever you're in a day where the accuser's going on, or your mind's all over the place, or you don't feel like the Christian, you should be. Always remember to remember the Holy Spirit selfie, that you were crucified with Christ, buried with Christ, quickened with Christ, made alive, hallelujah, seated with Christ, and will be appearing with Christ and reigning with Christ. Praise the Lord. Isn't that wonderful? You've got to understand that's your new identity, your new selfie. And that is like the summarization of everything you are in Christ Jesus. You can't escape it. You're in him and he is in you. You are united with Jesus Christ in these things. And that's why I say these 45 truths are what the apostles first taught the church. It was the very Christ, the cornerstone, the very foundation of their faith. It was Jesus and just Jesus alone. Praise the Lord. It's now your new image. There's a lot of talk about image in the world today. Clothes image, model image, uh, you know, personality image. Uh, whether you're famous, whether you're on the multimedia platforms and become famous that way, all about image. But you have as a believer in Jesus Christ a new image and you've been learning over them 45 truths what your new identity is, what your new image is and who you truly are in Christ. That is your start point. A couple of scriptures for you that really bring this out. Colossians 3.10, and you have put on the new man, that's the new creation man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. That's Jesus. Jesus has created this new creation man. It's after the knowledge of him, of Jesus, in his resurrected state. All these 45 things is now your new image because it's Jesus raised from the dead and you are in him. So it's true of Jesus, it's true of you, praise the Lord Jesus. And so you have a new image, a new identity as a believer in Jesus Christ. Now begin to believe it, now see it. Now see it and believe it and walk in that truth. Praise the Lord. It says in 2 Corinthians 3 verse 18, But we all, every Christian, with an open face, beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image, that word image again, the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. And so, you know, this is preached often in a wrong way, really. But let me just say that we are a people after the image of Jesus. We're already created after his resurrection image, the new creation. And when we talk about image, we're talking about these 45 
truths we have taught you over the just tree. That is your image. That's who you now, by new nature, you truly are, praise the Lord. And it says, we behold an open face, beholding as a glass, a mirror is the correct term. In a mirror, the glory of the Lord and a changed into that same image from glory to glory. When we look at these 45 truths in the word of God, when we look to the glass, which is the gospel of Jesus Christ and everything he has brought into our lives in himself, when we see his finished work in the mirror, we look into the mirror and we see the glory of the Lord. You know, Paul made it very clear that, and again, Scripture interprets it Scripture, that he's talking here about the glory that fades in the Old Covenant versus the glory of Jesus Christ in the face of the New Covenant, the Gospel, the New Covenant, what it's accomplished for us. Hallelujah. And so when we look at the Gospel, when we look at his death, his resurrection in his blood, the new covenant is sealed. And we've been learning what this new covenant has done for us when we behold it, when we look at it like a mirror. Now, you are see the glory of the Lord in that mirror. You see his presence, his nature, his accomplishment, his finished work in the new covenant through the gospel. You see that. And as you see that, it reflects who you truly are. Now, many people preach this as trying to change to be like him. But that's not what the word here change means. It's not the way we take the word change. We take the word change is that's where I've got to become. And so I'll make steps to try and become it. That's not what the word changed here means. The word change here means transfigured. Transfigured. And so this word transfigured, we have an example of this when Jesus transfigured before the disciples on the mountain. What does it say? He shone from the inside out. His true nature, his true self was revealed through flesh and shone brightly. The glory of Jesus Christ shone brightly through his flesh as he was transfigured from the inside out. In the same way, the Christian, as you see who Jesus is through the gospel of the new and the new covenant, as you see what he's done through his death and resurrection, as I've been teaching you in just Jesus, as you begin to behold it and see, it's like a mirror. It shows you the glory of the Lord, but it also shows you the glory of God in you, in you and begins to transfigure you from the inside out, from glory to glory. You're not changed to become like him. It shows you who you are already created after his image, created after these 45 things, and it begins to shine not to you, but from you. Hallelujah. Manifested through your life. Praise God. And you see it. Praise God. So see that verse a little bit different from now on. 1 John 4 verse 17 says, Herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness on the day of judgment, because as he is, that's Jesus, so are we in this world. As he is, is as a resurrected Lord and seated in heaven. As he is seated in his finished work, as he is resurrected, so are we in this world. What does that mean? Everything he has done for us, everything that represents his seated, finished work position is now who we are. We have his nature, his glory. We have what he has accomplished for us now in this world. Our bodies are just going to catch up at the rapture. Praise the Lord. All that you have learned in just Jesus is your new creation image. It's now your real self in Christ. 2 Corinthians 3.18 
is not a word of slowly changing to be like Jesus in our spirit, but change is a word for transfiguration. This transfiguration is now your true nature being manifested from the inside out by the spirit. Notice he says by the spirit. That's the spirit that already dwells in you. It's shining out of you. That's why Jesus says you will be the light of the world from the inside out, praise God, as we reflect our true identity in Jesus Christ through our life. So why is, question, why is this so important? It's the believer's foundation. 1 Corinthians 3.11 says, For For other foundation can no man lay that is already laid, which is Jesus Christ. And that's why this course has always been called just Jesus. Jesus Christ is the only foundation. Everything you've learned about him and what he has done in his finished work is the foundation on which the church, the believer, the Christian truly stands and lives from. Hallelujah. It's our foundational doctrine. The scripture says in Acts 2.42, they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine. That was the first thing they did. And it says, and fellowship, breaking of bread and prayers. Notice the apostles' doctrine was first, so that they could pray, they could worship, they could fellowship together, they could Uh, do all the things that church does and pray and take communion from a foundation of the apostles' doctrine. And the apostles' doctrine was just Jesus, what he had accomplished through his death and resurrection. Praise the Lord. Amen. So what should you do now? Say to yourself, what should I do now? Well, it's very simple. See yourself in Christ through acknowledgement. Remember that first scripture I kind of, in the introduction to just Jesus, I gave you Philemon 1 verse 6. That the communication of your faith may become effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. And so they had taught already every good thing, all the things I've been teaching you in just Jesus. They was being taught, the taught, 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 taught. And now the apostle is writing and saying, listen, that the communication, the fellowship with God and one another in this world be, become uh, effectual, powerful, by the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in Christ. So as we begin to acknowledge, we begin to see every good thing. Now you've begun the journey by doing the Just Jesus course. But again, it's not just about a lesson. It's about knowing it truly in your heart and living it and believing it, breathing it as it were. Hallelujah. And so that's what you've got to do. You've got to acknowledge every good thing in Jesus. Hallelujah. Walk in Christ, the Bible says. Colossians 2, 6. As you therefore received Christ, so you've received Jesus, and because you've received just Jesus with his finished work, just as you have received Jesus the Lord, so walk in, notice, in him. So you walk in all these truths, believing it, seeing it, and living it. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. And you are now, I commission you, I commission you to walk in these truths from now on. Discern everything from these truths. Listen and read your Bible from the perspective of these truths of in Christ. That is key. The cross and the resurrection changed everything. Praise the Lord. Amen. You are now to live your lives now by acknowledging and walking in him, which all that you have learned in just Jesus. Keep on reminding yourself of all these truths you have learned. See it, 
believe it and walk in it. Praise the Lord. Now, I've done a little drawing for you. It's not the best, but a little drawing for you. And you can see and if you, at the top there at the head, it says Jesus. And Jesus is the head of the church. And we're founded upon Christ, the cornerstone. But there's a little man just there. And that's us. Hallelujah. Just to imagine that really crude drawing is us. And you're in Christ. And as, you know, some of the things that you've learned, like justification, forgiven, close, uh, righteous, etc. Or Now, just imagine all the 45 things that you've learned are in Christ here, and you're in Christ. Hallelujah. You're surrounded by these things. What is true of Christ has become true of you because you're in him and he is is in you from now on. And so that's your new selfie. Imagine those 45 things in Christ and you're in him. So that's not a worry, is it? That's not something to be anxious about. That's not something to be guilty about. That's not something to be frightened about. That gives us joy, expectation and peace and and etc, etc. We are now just a seed and as we see it, as I've already said, as I see it, I see the glory of what Christ is doing. I see the glory of who Christ is in the new covenant. And I see it and behold the glory. And it draws out of me my new nature. It begins to cause my new nature. All those things I am, it begins to draw it out and reflect not only to myself, but to everyone around me through what I do. And so I begin to walk in. In Christ Jesus, by acknowledging, by seeing who I am. The Jesus is my mirror of the new covenant. Jesus is the gospel mirror. And I see him and know who I am in him. Praise the Lord Jesus. And so in conclusion now, I just want to leave you with a prayer. Hallelujah. Pray if you want to with me. I pray that the Holy Spirit will cause you to see with revelation, knowledge, these truths. And for everyone who has done this course to be affected so much by it, they will emanate and reflect Jesus in every area of their lives. Lord, I pray it. Lord, I believe it. Lord, I commission it in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray, Father, that the Holy Spirit even now will touch everyone who's gone through this course and cause them to reflect, cause them to transfigure, cause them to exhibit Jesus Christ in Jesus' name. And I proclaim over them, let God be true and every other man a liar, because what you've done in Jesus Christ is completely true and fact. I give you praise, Lord. I give you thanks in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. And so I just encourage you to keep reflecting on these things and living these things and believe these things. Until next time, God bless you.